How do with Chaingrave Games and back again for another issue of Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer. So we're on issue 24 now, your first proper Gloom Spikes Gifts character. Well, the uh, Mar is it Marsh Crawler Slog Off? Yeah, that, that's a Gloom Spike character, but well, this is an actual git. So uh, let's get into it. Get my scalpel. Which I really do need to change the blade of. I know I said that last time. Um, I've just not done it yet. Which uh, is a good job I've not been building anything recently. Uh, right, there we go. Pour it out. Uh, there's your sprue. There's your base. And that's not worked Yeah, This is why I need to get me a... Get a new scalpel blade installed. There we go. Now out of the way. Right, so here is your loon boss. Um, let's get down into it so I can show you this sprue, okay? Let's just zoom in a little bit. So yeah, Games Workshop 2012, no, sorry, 2019. Uh, it's a pretty simple little model. Um, you know, there's no kind of options how to build him, it's just... As he comes. He's a little head bit there, goes in there, and then the opposite side is there. Uh, have I just pressed, pointed, no, no, I pointed that one and that one, yeah. Yeah, pretty simple little sprue, shouldn't take you long, got a nice little scenic base going on, um, which he stands on, uh, with his mushroom mount. Um, so yeah. So yeah, eight ninety nine for this if you get it from the magazine. Uh, if you get it from a Forbidden Planet, you're paying a little bit less even then. Although uh, you'll be paying postage and packaging. Um, but it'd be eight seventy two there uh, from Games Workshop. You're getting it for nineteen pound, and you're also getting it for nineteen pound from a third party shop. For some reason, again, can't find anywhere that's doing it at a discount. But you can get it from a uh, Hash It Part Works and Forbidden Planet, and it, it's half the price. It's it, this is one of the good things about these uh, Hash It Part Works magazines. Character models can be quite expensive to say it's usually one or two little sprues this size. Get them in a magazine, you gain them for less than a tenner. You know, uh, it's also good for the subscription kind of side of things because you do get little bits and pieces here and there. I mean, uh, I got uh, a Killer Boss, um, who, yeah, a lovely little character model, uh, but that's all it is, it's, it, you get this and his base, uh, 32 mil, 32 mil, um, but we'll put them to the side, I'll well, put them there, shall we, there, there, that looks good on camera, looks very scenic, yeah, yeah, put that there, uh, and we'll get into the magazine, uh, Right, so, Gloom Spike Gits. Right, so you'll be reading about the Gloom Spike Gits, Grand Alliance of Chaos, the Hidden Gloaming. Uh, you'll be collecting Loom Boss, building Loom Boss, painting Loom Boss. And then you've got some rules and some uh, War Scrolls to get at the end. But first, Gloom Spike Gits. The vicious gloom spike gits rule the caves of the mortal realms. When the bad moon rises, they attack the surface in screeching hordes. A nice little picture there of a uh, a loon boss, loon king. Uh, the bad moon, gloom spike gits all worship the terrifying bad moon, a bizarre celestial body that zigzags through their cosmos, causing mayhem and madness wherever it goes. Right. And again, nice bits of artwork. And then, Grand Alliance of Chaos. Now, Age of Sigmar and 40k both have chaos in common. Uh, so, if, if you're into 40k whatsoever... Um, oh, I tell a lie. There's also the, uh, the fifth god of chaos in Age of Sigmar, the Great Horned Rat. Uh, the Great Horned Rat is a deity of ruin and decay. His followers, the rat-like Skaven, honour their god by following their own winding schemes and by destroying all in their path. 
with warpstone fuel techno magic. So yeah, you've got Korn, Zinch, Nurgle, Slanesh, and the Great Horned Rat. So yeah, I was wrong. Don't listen to me. What do I know? I've literally just opened the magazine. Uh, the Hidden Gloaming. Right. The cosmos is filled with secrets and strange sub-realms. The most significant of their number is U Ulgish, the Hidden Gloaming, prison of the Chaos God Slanesh. Ooh, right. Uh, prison, the Great Hunt, Darkness Rising. Uh, and then this is about your loon boss. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. How to build? Like I say, it's going to be a very simple build, you know. Uh, thread the ear through the hole in the helmet. Don't apply too much glue or it may leak out the ear hole. That's always good advice. Don't apply too much glue, otherwise it might leak out of your ear hole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then how to paint. And again, more about the rules, and it looks like more straight from the uh, core rules book. With uh, very little change. Literally just, what you call it? Scanned it from the core rules book and put it into the magazine without any uh, font changes or anything. Uh, right, okay, here we go. War scroll for the loon boss. He's got a movement of 5 inch. Well, he's only a little git. Uh, he's got 5 wounds. A little strong git. Uh, he's got 5 bravery. And he's got a 4 plus save. Uh, the war scroll, his only weapon is a moon slicer. With a, uh, a range of 2 inches. 5 attacks. 3 plus to hit. 3 plus to wound. Minus 1 on the rend. And damage D3, which is quite nice. Um, especially with five attacks, that's, he's, he's going out swinging. Um, because he's a hero character, he'll be getting some extra, uh, he'll be getting some extra bits and pieces as well. But, here we go, commanding vantage. So you'll be doing a little, a little little battle with the Alliance of Order, Lord Aqualar, four Praetors and five Vindictors against the Alliance of Destruction, Loon Boss, three Manskewer Bolt Boys, ten Gut Rippers and ten Hobgrod Slitters. Hob Hobgrot Slitters, sorry, not Hobgrod. Right, and that is this issue. Right, so in the next issue we'll be getting some more terrain, the Azerite Fountain. And then you'll be getting some more paint. Yay, paint! Love it. We love it, don't we? But for now, that's it. Uh, much love, and I'll see you in a bit.